Hello gurus, good morning, welcome to another episode. I hope you're having a beautiful day. I was a little bit sick yesterday, so we're gonna make, make another video. The tech stock's pulling back massively because of Jerome Powell. Um, say, they didn't increase rates, but they were still hawkish. They still said they're gonna increase rates. They don't think this is gonna finish. And they're also trying to predict a recession. They're trying to crash the economy, um, which I think is crazy. If you're in America, um, use G chat GPT or Bard, Bard from Google, the AIs, say, how do I contact my Congress and tell them to stop crashing the economy and stop the sec, uh, sorry, stop the um, governments from crashing the economy? Who do I email? Which senators do I contact? Because what they're doing in America is crazy. They're on purpose trying to crash the economy, on purpose trying to crash or create a recession. And yesterday when Jerome Powell spoke at the Fed, it crashed the tech stocks that Nasdaq around 3% and wiped out billions of dollars from the markets which is interesting bitcoin is about stable coin um crypto is showing some strength it's not pulling back much during this jerome powell announcement which is some good news we're going to jump into the charts for bitcoin ethereum i'm going to show you trades that i would open what i think is going to happen to the market what i think will happen to bitcoin and ethereum and in 12 hours i'll make another video on talking about um uh, the tech stocks and the nasdaq hit the subscribe button smash up thumbs up button turn on the bell notification there and comment down below any tickers you would want me to look into let's jump into the technicals for bitcoin now we're going into the technicals and the market again quite flat yesterday google down three percent after jerome powell match two percent added to the list i've got buy order set now for match at thirty dollars Meta down 1.7%, Nasdaq 1.5%, wiping up billions after he spoke. Tesla was in the positive yesterday, 1.5%. After Jerome Powell spoke, down 1.5%. So he moved Tesla 3%. The US government, one guy speaking, moved Tesla 3%. TSM down 1%. MCRT down a little bit. Bitcoin down a little bit. Ethereum. Bitcoin is still playing um, in the B wave to C wave correction. You can see from the beginning of the year 2023, it's been climbing, climbing, and then got rejected. And that was the fifth final wave. Then we've had this A bounce to B and C wave correction down to 21K is my target. On the daily, we are still overbought, but turning down and it's double topped on the stochastic now. <coughs> That's usually a sign to go short. On the four hourly, stochastic is coming down. We're still having this B wave correction though. We still should be targeting 28K. Um, hourly coming down as well. Double top there and pulling back. Got a bounce. Um, I would still take a long on the B, to the B wave at 28K, but it is close now. We came all the way to 27,400. So it came close to that B wave correction. It didn't make it to around 28,600 where there's heavy resistance. Um, but I would to be safe because it made a higher low. See here, it made a high and then a lower high. <clears throat> this could be the B wave correction before the drop on Bitcoin. I would still target 28K, but it is possible. So just keep that in mind. On the daily stochastic is saying we're overbought. On the weekly stochastic saying very oversold. Four hourly oversold also. So it does have some legs to move up here um, to that B wave bounce. If you haven't taken a trade, where I would target a trade on Bitcoin is t tr still tr targeting that 28K move and then going short. So I don't think it's going to make it to 30K anymore. <coughs> so I would short it from 28,500. So we can try and catch the little move on this potential W formation. You can see here we're getting a bit of a possible W formation. Target that 28K, but not much room to move there. So if you want to go long, I would take a long from these supports here. Very tight stop loss just up under the monthly. And I would make the trade just above the monthly. And take profits, I would take put it at 28k and then flipping short. So that risk to reward ratio from opening a trade 26,037 is where it opens stop loss. This is how you read my trades. The gray line is where the trade opens. The green line is where the take profit will automatically take profit on the trade. And the red line is where the stop loss will automatically close. The trade is set before I even begin. Risk to reward is 16 times. Opening 26,000. Stop loss 25,879. Take profit 28,500. Risk to reward 16 times. Risking 157 to make $2,500 with no leverage. With 10x leverage, $25,000 profits. 100x leverage, 250000 Then I would flip short from there with a bit of a big stop loss. 
Um, I would flip short from 28k, stop loss 28,900, opening 28,500, take profit 21k. Those are the two trades I'll take on Bitcoin. I'm currently on a long on Bitcoin. Um, I'm in a long on Bitcoin at $480 in the profits. It could be smart to close it now to see if it will pull back and set that trade. So I'm going to close this trade. Hmm. It wasn't pulling back during the Fed announcement. That's why I'm still bullish. Okay, I'm going to leave this trade. In this account, 299528 Went to 300 yesterday and then pulled back. So it's down a little bit today. It's down around $824. In this account, I have 140000 USDT. I've got $32,000 worth of Doge, a little bit down. Bitcoin, $28,000 of Bitcoin. Uniswap, $25,000, down 1%. MCRT, $22,000, down 1%. FXS, $15,000, down 1%. That's what I'm holding in this account. Mainly cash to buy the drop. And I've got buy orders going down on MCRT, Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Uniswap, Doge. And I'll set buy orders on FXS. I'm going to find out where I would set buy orders for FXS if it pulls back. <coughs> Let's see what FXS is telling us. Big pullback on FXS. Pumped all the way to $7 in August and then just faded. It's on major support, but volume is dropping more. Target $4. That's where I buy more. Here. This is strong support. $4.11. So I'm going to set some buy orders for X FXS spot buy orders at $4.11. $4.11. I'll buy... $20,000 worth of, or oh, let's buy it down, $10,000 worth of FXS at $4.11 in case it pulls down more. My order is set there. That order is set. My Bitcoin trade, $470 in the profits. <coughs> let's see. Um, and I've set that Bitcoin trade that I showed you. Let's go into Ethereum. And if you want to trade like you're seeing me do, um, if you want to trade the same way on the same accounts under the video, uh, go down in the description on your phone down below one take the courses to learn what I'm doing If you've been losing money if you you don't know how to trade don't know how to open longs or, or take profits Don't know how to set up charts or if you've been losing money in the markets number one jamescryptoguru.com Take the crypto master course to learn what I'm doing. I'll show you a trailer for the crypto master course You're only just beginning and you are very early in this Please make sure you split the seed phrase in half your first Bitcoin, yeah. amazing. And it's quite a beautiful thing when you learn to do this. Pressure, they build up pressure, they build up pressure. I really dislike, I would say hate the fact. That's why I made lesson nine purely about leverage warnings. Six trillion dollars of USD. We want at least 20% profit. The crypto master course again the link is um number number one in the description jamescryptoguru.com and then you can go to uh, the course website to trading on bybit using this link you get a thirty thousand dollar bonus now they have crypto debit cards as well that are connected to your crypto which is amazing and three join us there's nine thousand traders in telegram trading and sharing charts together and ethereum <coughs> trade not yet activated on ethereum looks like it's coming down Mm. Where I would go long on Ethereum on some crazy dip is here. There's going to be some FUD, it looks like. Ethereum is overbought on the daily, on the weekly oversold, but on the daily, everything's overbought, four hourly oversold. Where I would take a trade on Ethereum is catching a nuke to get a bounce. So where I would take the nuke is from support to catch a bounce going long. So I'll take it here and catching a bounce to come back up into resistance. There, risk toward 9.8. Opening the trade, 1311, 1261 is stop loss, take profit 1800, risk to road 9.8, um, risking $50 to make almost $500 per Ethereum with no leverage, 10x, $5,000 profits, 100x, uh, $50,000 of profits. Those are the two trades I would take on Bitcoin and Ethereum. That's my updates in the market. Be wary out there. It looks like Bitcoin is going to pull back to 21K. Volumes are dropping off. The Fed is still hawkish. The markets are still dangerous in my opinion so we're monitoring closely in 12 hours i'm going to monitor the nasdaq as well if you like this video support it smash up the thumbs up button subscribe there and share this video with three of your friends on whatsapp um, and just spread the message learn if you're skeptical watch my videos learn from for free i've been making them for almost four years now um, which is beautiful love you all have an amazing day study learn 
and your goal is not to take risk your goal is to protect your capital and multiply be, be fruitful and multiply love you all have an amazing day and i'll see you all again tomorrow